After managing to keep case numbers relatively low compared to other countries, Thailand is now seeing an increase. This week alone, it's reported five record tallies. The outbreak has been traced to a number of bars and nightclubs in the capital, Bangkok. And in the Philippines, hospitals are struggling to cope. The country has one of the worst coronavirus outbreaks in Asia. As a doctor, we're overwhelmed by the surging cases. It's very difficult to transfer patients to other hospitals since many are full. We also lack health workers. The Philippines president, Rodrigo Duterte, has suggested allowing the government to convert hotels into facilities where COVID-19 patients can be isolated. In Malaysia, too, cases have been rising, prompting concerns of a fourth wave. The basic reproduction number of COVID-19 infections in the country is 1.17. This number represents the average number of people an infected person will pass the virus to. A number of less than one means the infection is not spreading. Malaysia rolled out its vaccination program in February, but it's struggling with inadequate supplies of vaccines, as well as a low take-up rate. And public health researchers caution that a vaccine is not a silver bullet. General consensus among the epidemiologists that uh, many believe that we in a year that the manufacturers of a vaccine have to probably redesign and update to better handle the new variants. In Japan, coronavirus cases have been increasing after a state of emergency was lifted last month. It's also facing a more contagious variant. That's led to doubts the Summer Olympics can be held safely. On Friday, Tokyo's Olympics chief insisted Japan is committed to holding a safe Games in July even as calls to postpone or cancel the games grow louder. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Patalingjaya, Jaya, Malaysia.